Hey guys, sorry for the long uh, hiatus. Uh, a couple things got delayed that I planned on doing videos on. Uh, I was expecting to get have Sky Cursor by now, but um, there was a manufacturing issue with the uh, shell for the PCB, so they had to uh, delay it. I think it'll be shipped by the end of this month. And then there was a small delay on the G-SCART light. That should be coming in within uh, a few days of this video being posted, so I'll have a review out on that. But for today's video, I recently made a trade with uh, a friend on Facebook uh, on the Neo Geo for Life page for my Omega um, consolized Neo Geo by Arcadeworks. Now when he received it, it didn't work, which was unfortunate. Um, we were able to resolve the issue pretty quickly. He sent he sent the system back, so I have it here. I still haven't taken it out of the package, so I'm gonna unbox it and try to see if I can get it um, working. I think I know what the issue is, so I'll talk about that more when I get on the inside. So without further ado, let's open this up. So in addition to opening it up, we'll also plug it in to show off the um, issue we was having, um, just as a documentation, just in case anybody else has a problem with this. Yeah, I've been real anxious to get Sky Cursor in, so I was pretty uh, upset to find out that it was delayed, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? At least it wasn't delayed by, you know, that long, a month, but still pretty upsetting. Okay, so we have SCART and component cable and power cable here. Well, there's something rattling around in there. Well, what I thought was the problem <laughs> is the problem, because you can see it from here. Um, better close up when it opens, but for this particular hardware revision of the MVS that they use for the CMVS, the, uh, bio, the Unibios um, sits in like a circuit board that then sits over the um, original BIOS, because the original BIOS on this is like a, a squared uh, surface mounted chip as opposed to the uh, through hole ones from before. And uh, I can't push the cart flap down because that circuit board's in the way. So it goes to show when you ship these, that's a really finicky design that they went with. Um, I mean, I guess there's no other way to really make it that secure. Um, if, if anybody ever ships these, and I recommend ArcadeWorks does the same thing, they need to um, secure that, um, maybe put some bubble wrap over it, open the case. Um, but we'll, oh, we'll open this up, and uh, I don't even, even want to power it on. <laughs> but I'll put a picture of the screen, what it looked like. So uh, let's get this open and uh, fix it up. Alrighty. Sounds like there's a screw loose in there too. Not to call out uh, Arcade Works or anything, but I did send them a message and showed the screenshot and asked them if they had any idea. And the buyer was using a 160 in one cart. And uh, the first thing they said, and I sent them a screenshot of the picture, and the first thing they said was that the 160 and 1 damaged the system. Well, while that may be true, it's highly doubtful that a quick power up of the 161 would kill it like that, since I never used the 160 and 1 on this. And James from Jamination X, I sent him a message as well. Screw 
And the first thing he said within minutes of uh, responding was that the BIOS was loose. Yeah, look, look at that. Wow. See, it also looks like the LED came loose. And wherever this screw goes, okay, this screw was for the cart slot, it seems. Not very secure, that's probably why. Uh, okay, so they tried to glue it down, so there's a little bit of glue on the top here. Obviously, that failed, so we're gonna pull that glue off. So. I need to do a bit of research because I see there's a jumper wire here and I'm not actually sure where that um, solders into. You know what? I probably found it. It's probably this busted wire here. There we go. Yep, I'm going to have to do a bit more research, so meet me back in a second. Alright, so I did the uh, soldering off camera, so I had to reapply the chip, and then there are two, um, two vias on the board. Well, one via here that you have to solder. Let's see if I can zoom in and show it off, just in case anybody else has the issue. Um, this had come loose, and... Right here, you have to solder. Man, this is stuff. Kind of looking at the camera upside down. You have to solder onto this chip. It's really hard to show from here. Um, but I have not fired it up and tested it yet, so let's hope for the best. <laughs> but uh, really, really finicky here, you know. I'm surprised they didn't put some kind of glue on it. I, I don't know, maybe they just didn't want the board to have hot glue. But at the same time, there's hot glue on a chip back here, so I have no idea. Let's see if we can show it off. Yeah, there's hot glue here. I don't know why they didn't hot glue these other parts. Uh, now before we test this, just a quick disclaimer. If anybody's interested in picking up one of these Arcade Works CMBSs, um, there are there are a couple issues that I have with it. Um, the main one being the controller ports. Now if you look, um, there's nothing securing the uh, controller port to the casing. In fact, because of that, when you apply pressure on a controller, it really feels like that you're gonna you're gonna break the um, controller port off the board. So it's strange too, because when you look at the controller ports they designed, there are uh, screw holes here, so they could have easily mounted them. I don't know why they didn't do that, but um, yeah, that's just something you have to look out for. So let's uh, get this plugged in and uh, test it out. Okay, so I didn't put it back together yet because I want to test it first, but it popped in Sengoku 3, so I'm going to move over here to this monitor. And let's power it on. Would you look at that? Awesome, I'm glad I was able to fix it really quickly because. I was stressing about it. Sweet, well, the uh, CMVS is alive again. Nice. We got so much Neo in this room. We got the two slot hanging out right next to it. Man, we got more Neo than we could ever do anything with. That's awesome. All right. Um, well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, 
I'll have the uh, G-Scart light video out for you soon. Um, catch you guys later.